Hey everyone, Jason Case here with another video. And today I want to discuss why you need more than a mobile responsive website. So there's a lot of talk lately about moving over to a mobile responsive website if you haven't already. And this is super important because now Google is rolling out their mobile first index, which if you're not familiar with, it's now indexing websites from a mobile point of view versus a desktop point of view, which they have always done previously. So you need to really get your website moved over to a mobile responsive website. But this is just the first step. You know, just having a mobile responsive website is not necessarily meaning that it's optimized well for mobile devices. So what I mean by this is if you look at your landing page, most likely if you've done nothing, no other customizations on a mobile version of that page and you designed it um, from a desktop point of view, which you're most likely doing because you're designing it on a desktop com computer, well, when you view that site from a, a mobile phone, most likely it's, it's, it's going to need some tweaks. It's going to need some adjustments. And usually this is in the header image area. If you have a, a nice big header image on your, your desktop version or a tablet version of the, the um, website, when you view this on a mobile device, a lot of times this header image is super small and it's hard to read the text or your call to action doesn't look right. So this is where you need to make some adjustments. Hide elements, hide the desktop elements using CSS styles and use different um, a different layout for this this above the fold layout on mobile devices and then hide that using CSS styles on your desktop or tablet devices so this is super important and I'd suggest looking at Google Analytics and understanding where the majority of your audience what devices the majority of your audience is using you can look at this data in Google Analytics and making sure that these pages are optimized well and have a great way out for the majority of these devices. So your call to action, make sure that's above the fold and so forth. So there's a lot more that goes into it than just having a mobile responsive website. So make sure that you're, you're looking at this too and make sure that you're customizing these layouts for um, mobile phones. So if you're running paid advertising campaigns, I highly suggest doing this because this will impact your conversions substantially. Either way, that's it for today's video, everyone. Take care, and we'll talk tomorrow.